entire DNA of, of this building is rooted in community support. Our last story tonight takes us from Jackson to Hattiesburg. There's one building that's the hub for honoring African-American veterans who fought to protect our country. WJTV's Linnea Lewis gives us a look inside. The USO African-American Military Museum is a hidden gem of Hattiesburg. It opened as a USO club and, and immediately community members donated 40,000 hours just to make sure soldiers that came here felt at home. The museum is like an open book with pages full of written history of the struggles and successes of African Americans in the military. With over 10 exhibits, visitors are able to get a glimpse of each person who's made their mark by being the first, many from Hattiesburg. We have Jesse Leroy Brown, the first African American naval aviator who's from Hattiesburg. Um, I, I, I love to tell that story because it's a story of inspiration and, and a story that I feel like our young people can really look up to and, and relate to. Ruth Bailey Earl was Hattiesburg's first African-American female enlistee. She was an RN who was forced to care for German prisoners instead of caring for white soldiers. This is her famous stance, better known for representing the unbreakable spirit of an African-American soldier. Her inspiration, along with thousands of others, helped soldiers persevere for decades. From the Tuskegee Airmen, to the first African-American chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, to the first black woman general, and to the first black president of the United States. The Hattiesburg African-American Military Museum gives you an interactive look and educational experience about the many faces of African-Americans who sacrificed their lives and left an everlasting imprint on our country. Linnea Lewis, WJTV 12.